Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. It looks like uh, more hot and dry weather expected through the next week, maybe week and a half. Weekend looking hot, humid and dry. Looks like every day next week we'll see the century mark or thereabouts, maybe even hotter uh, across Southeast Texas. And then next weekend, August 5th and 6th, may see uh, temperatures come down a bit with a slight chance of showers of the following Monday. Weed pollen is up a little bit at moderate levels today compared to yesterday, but uh, grass pollen and mold down compared to yesterday. No rain expected tomorrow in your outdoor forecast. Highs mid to upper 90s and the heat index may climb to the danger zone for a couple of hours tomorrow afternoon over spots in southeast Texas. So be careful with that. Keep hydrated, take breaks and try to keep cool. Otherwise, the UV index will be extreme. So use that sunscreen as we'll see a light south and southwest wind. No rain expected this weekend through next week and the following weekend. May see some isolated or widely scattered showers and storms coming up on Monday. I'll show you why in just a second. As far as afternoon high temperatures, now this is for the triangle. And uh, we're forecasting as long as winds cooperate. In other words, we need some west winds. If they stay south all day, then this is not going to happen. Models just don't do a good job. We don't have a lot of confidence as far as those winds go. But I think it's really possible that we could get to 101, 102 maybe uh, by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That would uh, break the records uh, for the highs those days. Otherwise, pretty much every day next week at or above 100 degrees. As far as the burn ban, everybody under a burn ban, uh, Orange and Jefferson counties join the list as the drought continues at its severe levels with over seven and a half inches below normal just since June 1st across Southeast Texas. So here's the big story. High pressure out in the Gulf and high pressure over New Mexico will kind of join up and strengthen over the course of the weekend. That will kick high temperatures up. Then this stronger ridge of high pressure will take control and it will build our way as we work on into the middle of next week. That means that high temperatures will climb I think everybody's going to see triple digits, and it means dry weather uh, across uh, our area. Now, as we work in towards next weekend, the high will move off towards the west, not really weakened, but the orientation is that we may see a northwest flow aloft, so any disturbances could slide on into our area. That would be great news to bring us a chance of showers and storms, but because it's so far out, and we're talking... 10 days out, we'll go with a very low chance at this time. But that's kind of what we're hopeful uh, for the potential for any rainfall in the next 10 days. So tonight looks like a repeat of what we saw last night, some patchy fog in the lakes, otherwise mostly clear with lows in the lower and middle 70s to near 80. Then tomorrow looking at uh, partly cloudy skies as highs reach the mid to upper 90s to around 100, no rain. On the Gulf of Mexico, mostly smooth seas around a foot. We'll see southwest winds at 5 to 10 knots, water temperature at 88 degrees. Our forecast tonight, mostly clear with some patchy fog up in the lakes, lower 70s there, and into the mid to upper 70s to near 80 in the triangles, winds go calm. Tomorrow, middle 90s for the most part in the triangle, upper 90s, maybe 100 under partly cloudy skies. And as we take a look at the weekend, here in Beaumont, our highs will climb from 97 to 99 on Sunday. That means the lower 100s in the lakes area. Then here we go. All five days of next week, pretty much every day, will reach at least 100 degrees. And those records could fall Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Lots of sun, no rain. The following weekend, that high begins to move westwards. Okay, so we'll bring our temperatures down a bit. And if we're lucky and could get a disturbance to move in from the northwest, then we might see a 20% coverage uh, the following weekend. Until then, water your garden. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.